carried Swift because of Gold. Well, because of, yeah, yeah. So they this, this shouldn't be that bad for him. Um, are they getting right into it? All right, we go. It. Um, is super fucking proficient in like not even just Marth matchup, but just floaties in general. Like he just like cleans up everything. Super oh, he know he knows the Marth matchup because he he's played against his HTC boy Makari forever. Like Makari, pl plenty of Marfs. We have a New England has a lot of Marfs. It's kind of like everyone talks about how like how much of a floaty region we are, but like. Like we have, we have plenty of Mars. We have plenty of like, we have plenty of like not a different lot of foxes now. A lot of foxes, yeah. They're not. They might not be the best. Like our floaties may be some of our be better characters, but yeah. regardless, like you have to understand that like the um, people like have more matchup knowledge than you'd think in New England. Oh yeah, we like because we have just a very diverse cast, except for like Falco. But other than that, we got like everything. Yeah, see, like, Connecticut's of, where you see Falco. So if yeah. you want to be real, <laughs> I definitely agree. We see a lot of uh, Falcon Marths and Peaches here. Mm. Yeah. With that said, both of these guys should be pretty well acquainted in the matchup. I'd say Claps is favored by a good margin. Yeah, favored um, by quite a bit, but it means, like, John definitely Ward like doable for John Ward. John Ward oh, yeah. gonna his spacing's gonna have to be solid, and we've seen his spacing be very good. I know that um he practices like his pivots a lot. Um, yes, I know I, that I know that's I know that's like a uh, a tactic he uses against Peach. So we'll see if he utilizes it there. Essentially, like he just has to do like things that are like good against Falcon as Mark, which is like spacing it out, making sure he doesn't get like uh, bibbity bop comboed by Falcon. But you know, especially on a stage like Battlefield, it's not going to be easy. Um, Falcon has a lot of uh, a room to move around and kind of maneuver around uh, Marth and get his hits in. And Klaus has been doing a pretty good job. I know Camps, uh, Klaus is actually starting to play a little bit campier now. Yeah, but like both of them are like really, really clean players, honestly. So like John Ward can make us incredibly even, like in just like an instant. Like if he just gets a couple conversions, oh yeah, and, like an easy edge guard. Like he, I can see him like evening up like every game or even definitely. Taking one. Uh, Klaps' near use is phenomenal, really keeping uh, John Ward on his toes and keeping him from uh, getting on him. Because I think John Ward's trying to approach with Fairmore, but um, the Nair actually beats out... Well, yeah. I, I don't know if it's beating it out, but it's more so like not giving him room to fair. But uh, good signals from John Ward evening things up, yeah. so to speak. That's, that's he's what at I mean 50. by the edge guards. Like, he can easily just get a couple of yeah. or a smash and it's, it's over for Klaps. Yeah, absolutely. He gets this tech chase going, let's see what he gets. Ooh, oh. good weight! Phenomenal weight! Good weight. Oh. Phenomenal weight! Claps gets the ledge early, and uh, yeah, he's got he's got he, he's got the punish though. But that was a that was a that was a phenomenal weight though. Really smart of John. Um, definitely something. That's probably something he learned from like playing uh, Golden or just from like playing in general. He he is very patient <laughs> yeah. at times. Ooh! John Ward missing a couple crucial techs though. This is gonna cost oh absolutely. Like he's already at seventy six off on this tech. Yeah. Uh, it's that tipper. Though. It's the tipper again. And he's dead. And he's dead. All right. All right. But he's at seventy six, dude. One need one needs done. Yeah, so John Ward has he's to gonna have to really, really he's space gonna have to space perfectly, and, and he gets down for the knee. <laughs> he's living, but not for long. He's alive. Oh no, he didn't know. Like, yeah, that's game one. I mean, like it was close, like relatively yeah, that was speaking. Super close, bro. Uh, I'm trying to think about where John Ward would maybe want to go. Um, I guess think FOD might be on the table. If he doesn't maybe, uh, maybe Yoshi's. Pokemon's also on the table, yeah. yeah. I, had to, I had to think it'd probably be Pokemon or FOD. FOD generally considered a weaker stage for um, <coughs> for Falcon, and generally kind of a better stage is for like floaty-ish characters like Sheik, Marth. Like it's kind of a good counterpick stage against more of these like, kind of like, fast fall characters. As for this stage, I feel like Falcons are really like all Falcons are comfortable on this stage. But like if you're a type of Marth that just wants that room, like you don't really care about any other stage, and you just like think you're gonna get body. This is like a really good comfort pick. Um. So crazy set between Thunder Payson and Zayn. Let's get back to this set though. Right. Um, here, I oh, feel like this stage, this stage was kind of an all-in choice by John Ward because Mars, a lot of Mars used to be being considered pretty good on the stage and it being a pretty good stage for Mars like in general. But um, <laughs> Falcon also has a lot of shit on the stage. Oh yeah, he gets that room and like all these punishes are just low charge and like Mars doesn't decide really fast. That was an interesting uh, first up here, but uh, he really dies for it. And this is kind of the storyline of like. Alright, I gotta play Sam. Oh, yeah. And this is kind of the storyline of like a player that's like up and coming and a player that's known to be good. John Ward's sick, dude. Yeah. It's like game one's close. Holy shit, Claps is sicker, never mind. Game two's kind of like this, <laughs> where it's like three stocks to one, basically. Alright. John Ward's definitely up and coming as fuck. He's like my level up and coming. But like he probably. Oh, did almost covered it. Yeah, he couldn't get off the ledge. That's on his last stock. 
I, I don't like Falcon at this percent, especially when Claps has the momentum. It's really hard to just close anything out. He's just like, so fast. That he just gets in between your aerials, so uh, between your wizards. Honestly, like that, I'm saying this is three stock. Yeah. Oh my. Like at that percent, Marth can't really just like he can rack up the damage, but like yeah. it's hard to finish it off. 